Hello world, I'm Maya Sundermeyer and I would like to welcome you to the latest episode of my blog series. So far I've utilized my blogs for three main purposes, being that they are number one, sharing my experiences with you of what it's like for me to live with autism, number two, giving my two cents about what's going on with autism and the media, and number three, uh, covering topics that I am passionate about that have absolutely nothing to do with autism whatsoever. And uh, tonight I would like to give my two cents about what's going on with autism in the media uh, next to doing a little memorial because um, I had gotten up a little while ago and I had checked my Facebook timeline and one of my friends had posted in the news feed that famous actor and legendary comedian Robin Williams um, had passed away this morning um, after 12 a.m. Eastern or Pacific Standard Time um, at the age of 63. And I did a little thorough research and they said that the police had uh, presumed that he had committed suicide through the way of uh, suffocating himself. And um, that really, really shocked me because um, actor Robin Williams, um, he just seemed so happy and he was always smiling and making everybody laugh and he was always uh, coming up with some of the best jokes and, um, and I bet you guys all are wondering why I'm talking about Robin Williams. You know, well, here goes. Um, there have been several media sources out there stating that the famed actor was on the autism spectrum like myself and then he was also incredibly hyper and uh, it was known that he was diagnosed with Tourette syndrome. Um, but as far as the autism diagnostic goes, I, uh, you know, it, would not, it does not surprise me that he uh, was autistic. I mean, just the way he would act uh, when he would stand on, <laughs> when he would stand on stage at the Oscars or he would do some funny stuff uh, when he did a stand-up comedy and show, uh, there are people with autism that don't know how to quit. And so, I would not be surprised that he was on the autism spectrum. Um, I'm just really, really shocked once again that um, somebody who can have a great big smile and can look so happy on camera would be willing to commit suicide. But at the same time, um, there's a time and a place where we feel like um, we can't be happy all the time and we can't make others laugh all the time. We need time to breathe. We need time to be angry. We need time to be sad. And I guess when you're that big and you have that expectation of you, you're expected to be funny all the time and you're expected to smile all the time. And, uh, and maybe that's why he was so depressed. But ev because evidently, um, he was um, an alcoholic and he had been trying to uh, he'd been trying to go through uh, rehabilitation and um, trying to um, help himself get better but I I guess his depression got the best of him and um, as somebody who um, is a fan of Robin Williams this is sad I mean I don't want to do anything else I don't want to study I don't want to uh, I don't I don't want to do anything serious right now because that man was so funny. Uh, instead, I want to do this blog and I want to talk about some of my fondest memories of Robin Williams. And you know what? I might even cry on here. So beware if you see water running out of my eyes. But um, I, uh, I remember first seeing Robin Williams in old reruns of the, cheap, of the old TV show uh, Mork and Mindy. And I specifically remember him making a weird noise that went nano nano. Um, and back then I thought that it was a eh, 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 but I just I couldn't remember. I just thought it was a really weird noise. And then I remember seeing an episode um, of Mork and Mindy years later after finding out how um, big and famous he really was. And I remember there was an episode where. Uh, he let others take advantage of him and he needed to learn to be assertive and say the word no. And uh, there was an episode where a Girl Scout knocked at their door and he answered it and she said, Hi, would you like to buy some cookies? And Robin Williams said, No! And he shut the door. 
And uh, boy, did I ever laugh at that scene. And I laughed and I laughed and I laughed. <laughs> and uh, I was so excited about it that I called up all of my friends, or one friend, and I told her every little detail about it because I'm a very detail-oriented person. And uh, my mom in the background said, Maya, it's not that funny, but I just kept on laughing anyway. Um, and then I remember seeing him in the movie Hook, but I didn't remember he played Morg on uh, Morg and Mindy. And then I uh, saw him in, uh, as the voice of the genie in Aladdin, and um, I just remember hearing my mom being angry that Robin Williams uh, seemed to take over um, Hollywood and the media, and she, she was in, retorted, Oh, he's in absolutely everything! And then I went to it, and I found out he was a great big comedian. And of course, I again, I'd seen Hook right before I saw Aladdin, and my mom uh, told me, well, the guy who, the, the voice of the genie, also played uh, Peter Pan, and he was also Mork, Mork and Mindy. And I said, oh, that's the guy. And then I uh, had seen him in Robin Williams, and of course, um, I think Robin Williams was uh, the one that broke the ice for a lot of fans. Because it, he was brave enough to pull off um, a British nanny, and he did it so well. I mean, and I'm really surprised he didn't win an Oscar for that. But, again, I'm just really shocked that Robin Williams would go and commit suicide like this. And especially in a time when the world is going crazy, you know? Um, and then, too, I'm also, you know, sad because... Uh, he was working on a project on CBS uh, called The Crazy Ones, and it was, and it was with uh, Ms. Sarah Michelle Geller. And uh, I thought his career was going to take off even more, and I thought it was going to be a hit TV show. Never in my life would I think he would uh, turn around and harm himself like this. Um, but you know what? Robin Williams was only human, and um, like the rest of us, he needed a downtime to be sad. And it shows you that you can't be a people pleaser or it's going to eat you alive. Either way, I'm not going to blame Robin Williams. I'm going to miss him like the rest of us and I'm going to remember him. But I do know that I'm too sad to watch any of the Robin Williams films because this is just way too heartbreaking. heartbreaking. So, until next time, my name is Maya Sundermeyer and I'm signing off now. Bye.